Hi everyone and welcome back to Marcus RS for another invention series video. For more guides and tips on the invention skill hit the subscribe button and if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and even a comment tell me what you uh, liked about the video or if there's anything you'd like to ask me about the invention skill or this guide then leave a comment below. Also if you'd like to skip straight to the statistics then in the description there is a time link which you can click on and it will take you right to the point where all the results are in on this video. So without further distraction from me let's get started with the guide. So this video is for dexterous components and it's only going to be a quick one. Uh, I have looked into a few different variations of ways to get these dexterous components and I, I've kind of settled on um, short balls and I'm thinking magic short balls for myself but I also want to do maple short balls as well just to show you the difference when I first started doing this two years ago the cost of maple short balls was very very cheap but now the cost of a maple short ball is 483 in comparison to a magic for 995 so you can tell probably already what the junk chance and all all the other things are going to be like in comparison to each other but for the cost for what it's worth double the price um, I'd rather do magic for that extra chance of getting the dexterous component so let's just have a look exactly how much these stats are 62% for junk chance you get all the same possibilities of items, the parts and components on both items and then the junk chance on this one is 41% the reason why I'm going for this option I mean I'm going to, going to show you both and then if it turns out that maple is still better then I'll, I'll go and buy loads of loads of maple to get the dexterous components that I need um, so anyway just as a point to start from I have 134 dexterous components and my aim for these is 500 500 will allow me to make 100 siphons along with the precious components we've already got together so based on that I need 400 more uh, I'm not going to get it from 1000 magic short balls and 1000 maple short balls but this video is simply to help you out in terms of finding out what the better option might be for you before you go and spend the money and do it yourself I have also tried to put offers in for other items but they're not even worth mentioning because of the price is so extortionate for getting hold of these parts now I've done that introduction I am going to start on disassembling the magic shot balls to see how many parts I get for that and then also I will be doing a thousand maple shot balls and what I'll do is I'll uh, speed it up for you and then we can get down to the comparison of both items
Okay, so coming to the end of my magic short balls now. And then I'm going to show you how many dexterous components I got from the 1000 magic short balls. And then do the same again, but for the ma for the maple short balls and compare the difference between them um, in terms of how many components we actually received from the 1000 and how much they costed for that per component. Okay, so before we had 134, and now we have 258. So that's 124 that we just received from a thousand magic. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same for maple shot balls. Speed it up. Okay, so I'm on the last 40 uh, maple short balls, and once these are done, I'm going to have a look at how many dexterous components I got for it in comparison to the magic short balls, and then um, a comparison of price on, on the 1000 um, of each. Okay, so the c comparison between maple and magic short balls. Here it is. So I disassembled a thousand of each, and Magic Short Balls gave me 124 components out of the thousand, and Maple gave me 89. However, obviously the price differs quite a bit in uh, with Magic Short Balls, obviously being more. The cost per dexterous component in the end is 7,943 in comparison to the maple which is 5,696 so really it's up to you how you want to do this if you want to do it quicker then go with the magic short balls let's just say for example you wanted 5,000 um, disassembles that would be about two and a half hours and in those two and a half hours you'd have about 600 dexterous parts Whereas if you spent two and a half hours on maple short balls, you'd have about 450. So the difference, you know, isn't massive. Um, and for where I'm concerned, what I need to do to get to my checkpoint, which is 500, because I'm already on 347 dexterous components, I could probably get away with doing another 2,000 maple short balls and yeah it will cost me less to do that than to do the magic short balls but not by much the price of maple has really shot up but it's still the uh, optional choice so the reason why I'm doing 500 as my target which is going to cost me a couple of mil doing maple is to have enough siphons to get me to 99 invention so hopefully this video helped in aiding you in deciding what you want to do for your dexterous components but these two are probably the better prices and the easiest to get hold of from the Grand Exchange. If there are specific videos you'd like me to cover within uh, Invention or anywhere else in, in uh, RuneScape then leave me a comment or get back to me in game and I'll see you next time. Cheers.